more ironic than Pink Comic Sans. Let's talk on Vykusk. Oh boy. I never said a review anything because I look through things with rose-colored glasses. I can see through all the difficulties and the, you know, flaws in art when it comes to music, film, anything. And it takes me a couple watches, listens, looks to really see the flaws in things because my brain just goes straight to the purpose rather than to the actual bringing to life of the purpose. So yeah, now that you know that, I did not do that today. And this is not going to be a serious video. And this is going to be kind of a review. But this is kind of interesting, I guess. That I did not do the rose-colored glasses thing with this song. And I didn't know my brain could do this. So let's get right into the video, I guess. Um, I listened to Young and Menace today by Fall Out Boy. I did not have any good expectations for it. I was just like, hey, I'm not really into American Beauty, American Psycho, like whatever, dude. Um, it's just my taste. I do like a couple songs off it. It's just I don't really think I'd, you know, add it to my lovely vinyl babies over there. And that's okay. I don't care if it's blue. I don't want it. <laughs> so now that you know my opinion on that, let's kind of you know, jump into my opinions on the lovely first single of Mania, which is Young and Menace. And oh boy, my, my expectations were higher. And I can't believe I'm saying this, the song was all over the place. After a couple hours, I forgot how it sounded like until I read or, you know, watched reviews on it. Literally, my brain rejected the song. And that's something I just never, like, thought I'd say to anyone or in front of a camera that my brain rejected a song's existence. Like, I heard Doris by Suicide Silence. I heard Blood on the Dance Floor. I heard it all, man. I heard Old School Bubblegum Octopus. Like, I've heard all of the things that didn't were not, you know, brought to life in a way that it's, you know, the best thing, like, since sliced spread, okay? Now let's move on. Now that you, like, know that, it's just, I don't know where to begin, okay? I didn't know if Patrick or Pete was, was singing. Like, literally, I couldn't tell. There was, like, p the pitch was everywhere. And I didn't tell who was singing, because I know Pete does sing sometimes and he screams. Like, I do know that. And obviously, I don't, I didn't really, t I couldn't tell who was singing. And it was just all over the place. And like the dubstep was thrown in random times. Every, like the guitars are washed out. And I was just really confused. I did enjoy the aesthetic though. I do enjoy the Mania um, cover art. And I do enjoy the music video too. It is just, it's all over the place and really confused me. So my brain was just like, nah fam, we ain't going to remember this. This is, this is a mess. And that's kind of what I did. And is that because I don't like pop music and I'm still emo? And it's because I've taken back Sunday in my vinyl collection. I need to grow up. Because it's not 2005 anymore. It's 2017. No, I listen to Paris. Paris is my favorite band, actually. Um, like, literally. Like, I don't... Um, let's see. I listen to Politics. Um, hmm... Who else? Uh, Night Riots, Joy Wave, The Griswolds, um, hmm. Any other pop bands? Water Parks, uh, Glass Animals, MGMT, Group Love, um, hmm. You know, I listen to a lot of pop music. You know? Like, what are you even saying? Young the Giant? Like, come on, dude. Like, that is not the argument that's, like, you know, suitable to why I hate this song. I hate this song because my brain literally rejected it. And it was so all over the place. It was confusing. It was as 
disorganized as Doris by Suicide Silence. I only remember that song because of the memes and the tee you know what I mean? Like, you know, there was no tee in the new Fall Out Boy song. There was like nothing. There was no memes. There were just like llamas and trippiness. And that was about it. The only thing I remember is the llamas and trippiness. And, you know, that's like literally it. You know, I love pop music, okay? I listed a couple songs that are good pop songs, okay? And I'm gonna compare them to Fall, to Fall Out Boy's new song. Um, let's see, Breaking Free by Night Riots, Feels Like Summer by Weezer, Life Itself by Glass Animals, My House by Paris, Hollow Moon by AWOL Nation, Destruction by Joy Wave. Those are all like solid pop singles, okay? Also even Lifeline by Jewel Vera. I'm gonna throw that in there because that's actually a legitimate pop single too. All right, think of all those songs. Even Nerve by Icon for Hire. You know, I don't even think that was a single. Was that a single? I don't know. It was a solid song though. It could stand alone. But anyway, so the songs I've mentioned, except for the Icon for Hire one, they're all singles. They can stand alone. When I heard the Fall Out Boy song, I felt like it was a continuation of something because of how out of place it was. And it just felt like it was just dragged from something that belonged to two other things. Like it was an intro or an outro or an interlude, you know? It had, well, if it was an outro or an intro, it only had one companion piece, but at least it was a companion piece. You know, it had something to support it. You know, this without any support just sounds really weird and just all over the place, you know? I'm not getting the full context and I don't understand what's going on other than Llama's purple, ooh, it's so pretty, okay? And you know, these songs, if you listen to them on their own, you can't, you don't need context, you don't need the song before that to understand what's going on. You can bop to it, you can, yeah, you can just totally bop to it, you know? I will put all these songs down below in links and you know what? Listen to them, okay? And tell me if you need more context. And then we'll talk. But anyways, that isn't really... I guess I only have another point left is I do like a song that can also just, you know, that feels like an intro, outro, or interlude. And that is Your Life is a Lie by MGMT. And, you know, it's trippy. But, you know, I feel like I understand the purpose to it. It seems structured, you know? You can remember the cowbell in it. You can, it has like the same, you know, instrumentals in a sense. You know, they don't jump around from style to style. They just keep it, you know, alternative pop. You know, there are guitars, there are keyboards, there are drums, you know, there are instruments there. There's a cowbell. You remember that, all right? Um, I don't really like the cowbell version of kids, but you know, I like the cowbell here, okay? And basically, you can just hear the lyrics so well in it. You know, you remember that guy did not, you know, like, you know, mistake his wife for someone else, all right? You remember this stuff, you know? You kind of know the story to it. That, you know, life isn't, you know, sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows 24-7, and things do not go as planned all the time. And even with this music video, it is in your face. It is weird. You remember it, you know. The wife turns into like some dude dressed up as a woman. And I'm not saying that in a harsh way. I'm saying that it's like obviously, you know, a dude dressed up as a woman. It's not really funny, but it's just someone that looks so different from the wife. And I think that's kind of the point that they were trying to make here. You know, you remember the choir kids. You remember Andrew Van Wingarden with the choir kids. You know, you just remember all that stuff. But you can also just remember the music and the story to it, you know. Even though it's a short song and could be an intro or an outro or an interlude to something, you can hear it on its own. And, yeah, that's why I kind of like that song, but not really Fall Out Boy. I feel like I need some more context with with Young and Menace. It's just yeah, yikes. Anyways, um I hope you liked this video and got entertained by it. Um if you didn't, oh well. I'm sorry that 
I am uh, stuck in 2005 in that I totally do not listen to pop music and don't understand what pop music is. The only album I listen to is The Black Parade by My Chemical Romance. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. And I hope you have a nice day. Cue the cringy outro.